Hello everyone. So this is a little bit of an extra video this week because I wanted to show you my fleur piece that is completed. So you may have seen our video about our week down at Green Door Studio where we took part in the Fleur Woods um, textile workshop for a whole week. Um, well, this was my piece that is finally finished. Um, so to begin with, Everything that I did was all in neutral colours. And I have since added a lot of colour using mostly dyed wools. So even like all along the edges here, dyed wools, some of the beading has got colour, a little bit of paint inside that clay piece. Um, drizzle strip stitch here, here, and then this is why I needed my really long needle. I wanted to do some really long drizzle stitches in, again, hand dyed wool. So they've come out looking really cool. So um, this was so much fun to make. So I'm just showing you. I've got beading in there. Um, beads covered in lace. Lots of different type of embroidery stitches and stitching over things. And bits of vintage tatting and lace that's been cut up. I particularly like how this all turned out. Did this all the way along the edge using a pale hand dyed wool with very, well, that's come a bit loose, <laughs> very intentionally loose, messy French knots. I'll tuck that under, just needs going under there. It's just the knots come undone. Um, and then there's a little bit of beading in there, if you can see that. But I don't think the video will do it justice. I'm really happy with how this has come out. And a little bit of beading there I've got to tighten up. I'll fix a bit. A few beads got a bit loose, so I don't know how that happened. But anyway, I'll tighten that one up. Um, yeah, I'm so happy with how it all came out. Like if you look everywhere, there's just detail. Like it took a solid seven days, seven days of work. Um, so the five-day workshop where we literally stitched all day and then two extra days later on at home. That's a little pod thing in there. You can't see it too well. Using bits of lace and stuff like that. But like, I'm really happy it's meant to be a random kind of shape. That knot's going to annoy me. I have to just tie that off again. I'll do that later. And then what my idea will be is that I'd like to put it in either a box frame or just a normal frame, I think a box frame because it's got it's got a lot of height. Um, it just built up so much, so much fun. Um, and I'd actually like to make three, so to have a series of three squared frames um, would be amazing. So love it, loved the workshop floor, loved learning. My whole purpose was to get ideas of how to just add volume and texture. Um, and I think we've definitely achieved that. So it's actually really different to Rachel's. Rachel's is quite a bit bigger than mine. She ended up painting hers. I might do a painted one and I want to do maybe a really colourful one. Fleur does some colourful ones. She's had one up there recently. And I've got a lot of colour and I love all the hand dyed wools that we've been collecting. Um, so yeah, I'm finished. Finally, I never finished stuff. I finished this one. So that's cool. Um, at the end of this video, people keep asking me to show you Alfie, my puppy. Um, so I might add a few videos. I've done a bit of filming recently at a couple of local parks just to show you what I live near and a little bit of Alfie. So I'll pop some stuff at the end of this video. So if you're not interested, turn off now. And if you do want to see a little bit of a snapshot of um, sort of some area surrounding where I live, um, keep watching for the next I don't know, it's about 10 minutes worth. Okay, so I will see you next week for the next instalment of Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. Thanks for watching. Bye.
So this is my last little bit of my film. I wanted to show you one of our local parks, which is Centennial Park. Um, so if you don't want to see a bit of park stuff with my dog, then turn off now. So we're in Centennial Park here. Um, this is a huge park that we've got in Sydney. It's actually just up the end of um, my street. Rach, you really like those ones. Um, so I just thought I'd show you a bit of um, where I live. Um, this garden here, I'm not sure exactly what time of year, but it's often filled, like completely filled with roses. Um, they replant it. At the moment, I can see a lot of dahlias, okay, but there's not a huge amount of flowers out. There's some Cosmo, the pink ones, dahlias, 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 which way do you say it? Um, so because it's autumn, you can see a lot of the plants aren't flowering, but eventually they do fill this up with rose bushes as well. This is a bin chicken. We call them bin chickens in Australia because they scavenge. They're scavengers. They're always in the rubbish bin. They're actually called ibis, but we call them bin chickens. Okay, so this is Centennial Park. It's a huge park that we like to come to to take Alfie for walks. So I'm having a little bit of a wander around the flower garden. Most of it's just open fields. And I'll show you a few more videos um, where it's actually... A lot of ponds. I don't know, there's about eight or so ponds, like big ones. Not like Central Park. <laughs> I don't think it'd be quite as big as that, but it's big. Very popular. On a sunny day on the weekend, this place is packed. There are some sporting fields in here. There are, there's a kids bike track. There's adult bike tracks. There's all types of birds. There's heaps of wildlife, ducks, um, geese, black geese, no, sorry, white geese, and some of them different coloured, um, and then black swans, not white ones, but black ones. They are Australian coffee, different types. Um, I'm just saying, as you can see, any of the yellow crested ones, maybe not. So, this is the rose garden, actually. So, these the other one wasn't the rose garden it was the other garden i forgot there's two next to each other i don't come around this section there's the cockies actually there's some yellow crested ones up there i don't know if you can see them but um these are the beautiful roses and they smell wonderful because they're they're real ones they're not um glasshouse roses glasshouse roses don't have this nice scents so this is often fully in bloom we've only got bits and pieces at the moment but there's quite a bit oh there's zinnias pink ones i like zinnias camellia i have a few of them in my garden oh look at the color of this hydrangea that is a really beautiful color look at it Let me just focus and it goes down to that deep color there so the hydrangeas change color depending on what's in the soil change the colors and getting a little bit of purple there i like hydrangeas i've got some of them in my garden as well so look at all the roses on mass when this is in bloom it's absolutely beautiful this is a nice one look at that pretty pretty color just trying to focus we've got lots of lovely pink ones over here Really beautiful. So this is the rose garden. The other one had a few roses in it, um, but this is the one that's where they're planted on mass. And Alfie is foraging. So the geese, 
the geese. There's a big flock of geese. Most of them live in this pond here. I can't see them at the moment. They might be down the side there because that pond extends right down the end there. Um, but the geese are on mass. And yeah, hang on. Look at oh, look at this colour. Come over here. I love roses. Not not so much red ones though. Look at the colour of that purpley. Purpley pink. Almost like a blue moon rose. So we're having a good afternoon walking around the park. Um, it's an overcast day as you can see. It's the afternoon. And it was time to get Alfie outside. Get some of his energy out. But I thought I'd... Um, Oh, Alfie, come around. Look what he's done. Come around. Come around the pole. Come on. Oh, Alfie, you're really stuck. Hang on. <laughs> Alfie, you're just twisting yourself. Sorry, excuse that. He's just gone right around the pole and twisted his lead. All right, come on, Alfie. And Jamie's over there somewhere. He gets bored of me filming. There's another beautiful hydrangea. And the camellia bush, camellia tree. But, um, yeah, I like to get Alfie's energy out, take him for a big walk. I'm going to show you two parks. Um, this is one. And then the other day, this is Centennial Park. This is the big one. And then the other day I um, went to Cooper Park. And it was a day after we'd had some torrential rain. So you'll see Alfie walking through the park. Some pretty zinnias and yellow. Dahlias or dahlias? <laughs> Mum, how do you pronounce that? I can't remember. Mum used to be a florist. So she she knows all the plants and the plant names and stuff. Um, oh, this apricot colour is lovely. Get this one. So the roses are beautiful. Lovely rose garden. And there's Jamie over there on his phone.
It's a river. Thank you. 